Howdy, this is Lance, and I had a recent question of how did I go about making a video with myself and having it so that way. Good morning, everyone. It is Google Classroom is in the back room, or tabs in the background, I should say that. Um, how I went about doing that, and I'm just going to do a quick overview of, of using Flipgrid for this. So on Flipgrid, you don't have to make videos just with... Uh, creating a topic, you can use their camera tools. So I went to my Flipgrid account, clicked on camera. And when I click on camera, then it comes up with this. And then you have this backdrop option and you can choose use screen as a backdrop. Okay, now I usually do this with, with two screens going on. And so that makes it a lot easier. But what I'm going to do to show you how you would do it with one screen is I'm going to take my Chrome tab that I have up here. And actually, I'm going to grab all of my homeroom one. Um, that way you can have a group of them. Um, so I have a group here. And if I right click on them, I can create groups and I can pull them apart. I could pull this away over here. It's not part of that group. Any tabs that I want a part of that group will then be a part of that group. So here's my tab for that. And what I'm going to do is pull this apart like so and pull it all the way to the left. And then it's going to pull over here and give me the option of doing this on the right. Now, it's a little different. If you're doing this on a Chromebook, it's different. Um, you can still pull left and right, but it won't pop up with this separate box like that. You just pull left and right, and it'll show the two blurs on both sides. Okay. So then how I would do that is I would click on this, and you have three options. You can do your entire screen, a window, or a Chrome tab. But you're going to want to split them first, and now I can see that this is here. The reason I want to split those is because if I pull this apart and minimize it, what will end up happening is it will then cause a problem because uh, it won't show up. Watch this. See, it disappears. So I got to bring it back. Okay. So just letting you know that that's how that works. Um, some other things I might want to do is I may actually want to pull this over so I have more room on my Google Classroom screen. So I'll use this backdrop button again get that out of the way. Choose my window and just choose the homeroom and hit share. And then when I'm ready to record, I can start recording. So here I am recording on Flipgrid, but it's only showing this screen over here. And if I choose these buttons, move left, it moves me into the different locations and I can even customize that doesn't look like I can do that right now because what is happening is it's kind of shrunk down so it's kind of messing it up so I might have to do this and then resize myself I did that earlier you might have to be full screen for that I don't know but either way usually you can you can resize yourself at that point I'm not sure what happened there okay so then I'm able to scroll on this page like this and talk about different parts of it and then if I want to pull up a document, I can pull up a document. And because I chose a window, any tab that I open within this window is going to show up. So that's why I pulled them apart and selected a window because then I'm able to pick which parts I want to see. Okay, so I can scroll over a little bit here. So there's a little bit of navigating issues that you have to deal with if you're not doing this, if you don't have two monitors, but you can work around it with using the split screen feature like I'm doing right now. And then when I'm done, I hit pause and it'll finish up. I'm going to grab a hold of this tab and slap it back into with this other group like so and go back into Flipgrid here. And now that it's done, I can hit next. So here I am recording on Flipgrid, but it's only showing this screen over here. And if I choose these buttons, move left. So I'll pause that. And now that I'm done, I'm going to hit next and I can give it a title and hit save to my profile and it'll process it shouldn't take too long if it's not super long you can have up to a 10 minute recording and then if i go to my profile i can see that there now uh, there's a few things that i can do if i want to hit post to i could send it directly to um, topic that i have in flipgrid the other thing I can do is use the share link and share it directly to Google Classroom. The thing that might not work well with that, though, is that it doesn't work as smooth as far as students viewing it 
I should say, because it'll actually take them to Flipgrid. Whereas I really like in Google Classroom how if you do a YouTube video, uh, it shows up directly in there, or if you share it to your Google Drive, you could do it that way. So what I usually end up doing is I end up downloading it. So here I am recording on Flipgrid, but it's only showing. And so then when I download it, there we go. Now it downloaded that time. Not sure why it didn't the first time. So now it's in my downloads. And I have a couple of options there. I could put it in Drive. The other option is to put it in YouTube. And again, the reason I like putting it in YouTube, I'm giving you a lot of steps here, but the reason I like putting it in YouTube is because then what I can do is it works so smooth with Google Classroom. I'll just pop that in there. And I'll say test four. There it is, this is one of my friends and you set up the all the settings you want. No, it's not made for kids, not this time. I'm gonna hit next, next. You can do all kinds of visibility stuff. I'm gonna change it as unlisted because I don't necessarily want the whole world finding this video, even though this is kind of fun. I'm gonna hit save and it's gonna upload. I'll close that. And then when my video is done, see, I can take this, this link here and hit shareable link and put it in classroom like this. And so when I hit create, um, let's go to the stream here. When I do an announcement, I'm gonna uncheck all the students and I choose the YouTube icon. I can paste that in there like so and add video. So now that I didn't choose any students, uh, that just gives you an idea of how you would post it. But here's how it would look for the students, I obviously don't want to post this for students right now. So I am going to do just show you from this one. When you post it in classroom using the YouTube icon, good morning it pops out nicely. Uh, you could put it in slides. You could put it in a lot of different places, but I like putting it in classroom like this because it has a nice little preview. It doesn't actually take them to YouTube. So anyway, that's how you can go about using uh, Flipgrid to uh, give great overviews of what you're doing for a virtual day or if you want to show something that's on your screen and you want yourself on there at the same time flipgrid is a great free option um, and you can have up to a 10 minute video pretty fantastic